so here we have longest ideal subsequence so first of all a subsequence is a string that can be derived from another string by deleting some or no characters so now here we have t is a subsequence of s if the absolute difference in the alphabet order of every two adjacent letters in t is less than or equal to k so we need to derive a substring from given string s such that it is a longest ideal subsequence a longest ideal subsequence is one which follows these two conditions so here we have when we come to the constants the length of the string will be at most 10 to the power of 5 and the k value will be at most 10 25 so i would like to ask Is this then ideal subsequence? A, B with K equal to two. Yeah, because now B minus A equal to one. So this satisfies the condition adjacent letters is at most K. So this is an valid ideal subsequence. So. Is this an ideal subsequence? Is that character Z? Yeah, Z. My bad. No, that's fine. Once you say, we can interpret. Okay, A by Z. Yeah. Is this an ideal subsequence? Yeah, it is not an ideal subsequence because Z cannot attach to any of these things, any of these characters, because its value is 26 and A's value is 1, B's value is 2. So it, the difference would be more than K. So now But by deleting Z, we can get it. And yeah. Yeah, by deleting Z, we will get the mag plus AB with value 2. So now let's try to find at every index, we try to find the longest idea, ideal subsequence. Now, let me take an example. So if it is just a single character A, what is the answer for this? So if it's a single character A, what is the longest ideal subsequence possible length? Yeah, it will be A with K equals to two, let's suppose. Now, if it is AB with K equal to two, then two, yeah. So, or suppose if it is A, C, a b with k equals to two now what will be the answer yeah four so if i make it z now Three, yeah, because we can choose this A, this A, and this B. Now, if I ask you, I have some character here and with a B and K value equal to two, and I say the longest ideal subsequence length is two, what characters we can put so that we get an ideal subsequence of length two?
yeah we can put a b c or d yeah we can put either a or b or c or d so actually what we are doing is from b minus 2 to b plus 2 all the valid characters we can put in this place so that we can get an ideal subsequence so now let me take another example a c a e now let uh, we try to write at every particular index the maximal maximum possible value at that index at this index what is the okay let me write k equals to 2 uh, no let me take uh, k equals to 2 at this index the maximal possible index uh, ideal subsequence length will be if we consider only till this one yeah until this two until this three until this three yeah that's correct so we cannot add e to a c a because a minus c will be three and it crosses our k value so we need to check for other values so what are the possible values for e so that it can append itself to form an valid subsequence so we have e minus 2 to e plus 2 so it will be c uh, no c d e f g so it can only append itself to a subsequence ending with c or ending with d or ending with e or ending with f or ending with g so if we try to use a map to store the values for all the characters we can iterate that map and find the values for all these characters and take the max from it and add from add one to it by including this character and we can find the value for that particular index. So now let's do it by using a map. So let us do for the given string. S equals to ACF GPD. and k equals to 2 and initially our map is empty so at particular at index at partic this particular index what are the possible values for character a to append itself so those values would be a b c so we check in our map if there are any values for a or b or c so there are no values for so a these all values will be zero so a will uh, take the max of all these values and add one this becomes one so so far the ans uh, maximum subsequence length is one now when we come to c we add uh, after calculating this we add a as one in our map because for character A, we can get one length subsequence. Next, when we come to C, what are the possible characters for C? There would be A, B, C, D, E. So from the map, we get one for A, zero for B, zero for C, zero for D, zero for E. So max of all these values would be one. We add one to it, it becomes two. So for until this the answer is two now we go for we add into the map c as two now for the next index 
f the possible values are d e f g h so we don't have any value for d for e for f for g for h so the maximum will be zero plus one we get one so we add one here and in the map for f we put one and let me erase this so for the next index g for g the possible values are e f g h i so we try to find the values in our map we get zero for e for f we get one for g zero for h zero for i zero so max of all these values would be one when we add one we get two we put two for g add g to our map and it becomes one sorry two and for the next index b the valid characters would be a b c d so a will return one we don't have any b zero c will return two d will return zero so max of these values would be two and we add one b it would be three three we come here put it as three now for next one d the valid characters would be b c d e f b would return 3 c would return 2 d returns 0 e returns 0 f returns 1 and we take the max which would be 3 we add 1 to it it becomes 4 so for d the value would be 4 and the answer for this string would be max of all these values which is 4 so we get 4 here so that is how we got output 4 for this string if any that if you want we can take like a c e a b c so if k is equal to one Bamshi, let's then, take a bigger example okay uh, sir that will make more sense okay yes, sir. i'm giving an example let's take g e g e l f hmm. l f yes sir h j M E yes, M E that is M. No, no, uh, remove M E, make it M E. Yeah. M E G J L K H F. G J L K H F. And okay, so K. K value is three. Yeah, our k value we will take as three now if we go step by step i think that will make uh, more sense for everyone up to g guys if we take what is the answer if g was the only character g is the last character of our string and we want to fill the answer up to g what is the longest subsequence you are able to get one yeah we can write answer one below g Great. Then we move to the next character, which is E. Now we have to think, E will be able to extend which all characters? E will be able to extend which all characters? K is 3. So what are the possibilities for E to be appended at the end? 
it will be e minus k to e plus k. Everyone agrees, guys, guys, that e will be end character only for the sequences whose last character is b or h. Yeah, b to h. Now that's where Vamshi was saying, I will remember the answers. So do we have any character seen earlier? I mean, manually, if you look back, do we have that character seen in the string so far? B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Did we see any character out of all these possibilities? Yeah, we saw G. That And G's answer also is, Kumar, we saw G earlier. First character behind E is G. And G is one possibility. So G we have seen already, right, Kumar? Yeah. So E can be appended to that. If E is appended to that, the answer for E will become? Answer for up to E will become 2. Yeah. And that 2 we will store in map also. For E, we will go ahead and say in the map that hey, up to E we have two length subsequence possible. Yep. Well, you can take over. We can continue. We, this example, I think, will add a lot of value to all of us. Continue, please. Then we have L. For L, what are the valid characters? I, J, K, L. Let me first add you to the map. E to I J K L M N O. There is no I, no J, no K, no I, no M, no O. So it would be zero plus one equals to one. So we put one. Then the next character is let me put it into a L as one. Then we have F. For F, we have the valid numbers as C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So, so far we have only G, rest all zero. So we have one plus one. So, so E uh, we have okay. E to G1. E to, yeah. Rest on zero. So it will be 2 plus 1, 3. So F will be 3. Next we have H. For H we have E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So E will be two F six. F is three, G is one, H is zero, I is zero, J is okay. So, so maximum is three. So we get three plus one equals to four. H we put four. Then we have J for J, H, G, I, J, K, L, M. H, the value for H is 4, G is 1, no I, no J, no K, L is 1. 
m is zero. So maximum is four, four plus one, five. Five. Next we have M and for M we have J K L M N O. For J we have five K zero L one M zero N zero O zero. So maximum is five, five plus one, six. And now, if this is clear to everyone, yeah, uh, can you guys quickly work it out? Can everyone work it out yourself and tell us what will be the final answer for this example? If the process is clear, what we are doing, just trace it yourself, work it out, and let us know your answer because this will help you visualize what essentially is happening at each step. Yeah. Thanks, Mamchi, for this patience. <laughs> this was a bigger example. And I hope like th this helps everyone understand what essentially we are trying to do to form the answer till the end of the string. Yes. Yeah. In the meanwhile, if anybody has any questions, any doubts on the approach, feel free to kind of unmute ask. Or if you are clear, just work out the answer. Okay, Kumar, since you have worked out the answer, in the meanwhile, if I ask you, what will be the time complexity of this approach? Yeah, so whatever process we are following, what will be the time complexity of this? Uh, I mean, definitely it would be O of N for the iteration. No, what are we doing? for every character, what are we doing? Right, for every character, we are calculating, or we are trying to get the values of uh, K minus, I mean, the current uh, character minus k as well as plus k so that says like we are we have to iterate for 2k times or we have to find uh, the positions yes. of 2k yes it is 2k and worst case 2k will be how much this range will be how big in worst case uh, 26 yep so worst case you are you know that you are going to loop over 26 characters now what will be the time complexity too often Sorry? O of n. Yeah. Overall, it will be 26 times n. Right. First case, n, which is big O, y is yeah, O of n. But even 26 into n will work. The constraints of the problem state string length can be. What are the constraints of this problem? 10 to the power 5. So 26 into 10 to the power 5 is an acceptable solution. Yep. Pamshi, is there anything to add here? Yeah, no, sir. Okay, so idea wise, it makes sense to everyone. Things are clear. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Thank you, Vamshi and Kaushik for putting these things together. Like, it was a very, very useful session. And uh, Vamshi did it for the first time. So Vamshi, I mean, you did it really well, the workout and, and things. That's a very good beginning for you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And you're adding value to a lot of people. That is, uh, that's the beauty of it. Like doing problems, I know your caliber, your Kaushik's caliber, you guys can solve problems faster, but helping others visualize it adds a lot of value to other people's skill also. Cool. So this is where we will end this session.